Hi y'all, Vampire Dracul back again with another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to show you how to install a 32 gigabyte memory stick inside of an E15 Lenovo ThinkPad. So the manufacturer ships this particular unit with 8 gigabytes of RAM. But I'm pretty sure this uh, DDR4 SODEM Crucial 32 gigabyte uh, RAM will work. So you're going to need, of course, the RAM, the E15 laptop, laptop screw removal device and then something plastic and thin to kind of get in between and around the bottom of the laptop so there are eight screws one two three four five six seven eight that you need to remove so we're going to go ahead and do that now now they are self-retaining screws they won't actually come out they're retained by the uh, laptop so you just got to get them high enough to where you hear kind of a click and then that should be enough to get it released. Now that the uh, laptop screws are released, you kind of want to get in here. Find an area where I can actually start it. Okay, uh, so what I did was uh, kind of got this started. Kind of jammed it in there. This is a little thick. If you can find a guitar pick or something like that, it might work a little better, but... Um, basically just go around this whole thing and we're going to release so you can see it coming apart there we go there's that side and then if we can get this side started here it's a little tricky actually <clears throat> We got most of it here. We're just going to get this side here. Just kind of keep using the tool. As you can see, as you slide it in, it keeps kind of separating it. Sounds like it's breaking, but I trust me, it is not. It's just clipped in there. So there we go. Put that to the side. So in here, you can see we have the battery, the memory, your processor, the fake hard drive holder. You can actually put a 2.5 inch hard drive in here and your NVRAM for your SSD. So what we're doing is removing this stick of RAM there are two clips on either side, on the left and on the right. Uh, simply push those to the side. It should come right up. And then you can take your old memory stick out. Take your new memory stick. Break into the packaging. All right, and then we're gonna basically uh, you'll see there's a, a line here and a line right here. All you got to do is line it up. Make sure you can't really see the, the edge of the gold right there. And then simply click it down into place. That's it. That's all there is to it. So let's make sure the operating system recognizes this new 32 gigabyte stick. So we're just going to lay this back on top of it for now before we seal it back up to turn it on and see what happens here. All right. All 
Here we go. So far, so good. Got past post. Looks like it's booting into the operating system right now. We're running Windows 10 on here. Okay, so we're up and running. Uh, that's good news. We'll check the PC to make sure it sees 32 gigabytes. There we go. Right here, 32 gigabytes. So, contrary to what the manufacturer says, it is possible to put 32 gigs of memory on a single stick inside a Lenovo E15 ThinkPad. So, if this uh, helped you all out, if you were able to open up your ThinkPad and install new memory, I'd really appreciate it if you would uh, like the video. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel and most importantly, ding that bell. Also, if you've uh, upgraded your ThinkPad, let me know in the comment section below what you're going to do with all this extra memory. Uh, me, myself, I'm going to run a bunch of virtual machines on this box and a bunch of other things. And hey, why not have 32 if you can have 32? So also, don't forget to, uh, we're going to shut this bad boy down and clip on the make sure it turns off all the way there we go all right and then we're just going to make sure we uh click this back into place as we are now done with the upgrade you just got a light pressure around the edges there there we have it and then just tighten down the screws not too tight. As soon as you feel any kind of resistance, stop. You don't want to strip these out or strip the head out or not be able to get back into this if need be in the future. And one last screw. All right. Well, there you have it. Hope this helped you all out. Till next time, keep it real.